Hi friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel this week. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through what's in my beach bag for summer of this year. And I'm so very excited to show you everything that's jammed in here, even a couple swimsuits that I got for the upcoming season. This bag and most of the stuff in it was actually a birthday present from my mom, so shout out to you. I didn't really have an official beach bag up until this year. I never really thought to get one, but my mom got all these beach essentials that are actually super handy to have all in one place and then like this oversized bag which I love it's the color yellow which I've been pretty obsessed with lately so I'm just gonna unpack my beach bag and show you all of my beach essentials I forgot the Nalgene it's in my car but I'm gonna start by putting in a picture of my Nalgene because I forgot to grab that out of my car for this video I got it at Ocean City New Jersey and it's I forget how many ounces but it's huge it's a pretty blue color with a seagull holding a surfboard because I got it at the 7th Street Surf Shop on the boardwalk. Kind of a tongue twister, but I got it. And it's super nice and good for when I want to bring a water bottle but not the super expensive Hydro Flask. It was like $16 or something. All right, so I am cutting to this clip at this point in the video because instead of putting in a picture of my Nalgene, I'm just gonna show you. This right here is my new Nalgene. I am super into this Nalgene. As you can see, there's the surfboard seagull I had been talking about, and it looks like it holds 1,000 milliliters of water. I think that's just one liter is it not i have carried it around with me all over sidetracked from the video but i just went to go get breakfast at wawa i'm having some snapple tea to drink pork roll sandwich to eat hash brown on the side we're living life this snapple bottle where is it oh it says meet our new eco-friendly bottle i think it's so cool that they're transitioning because all of that glassware that they used for the old bottles kind of was a waste and this tastes the exact same so good this is kind of a beach essential too when you think about it usually before I go on my road trips to the Ocean City Jersey Shore whether it's with the family or with me and Jess as we did recently I usually stop at Wawa or some other place just to pick up some snacks I know when we used to go to Brigantine they had a Wawa that was right when you pulled in to the city I think Brigantine's considered a city even though it's all just beach and we would all go there and stock up on snacks we would get you know hoagies to eat and stuff they have the best hoagies kind of wish I got a hoagie but it's 10 40 a.m. as I'm filming this meaning it's kind of that in between of breakfast and lunchtime but I'm so excited to eat this I used to get these pork roll bagel sandwiches before school sometimes when I would be running early which didn't happen very often but when it did this was usually my go-to or they had a sandwich where I think it was a waffle was the top and bottom but they may have stopped selling those because it was limited edition I think they were trying it out I thought it was really good but I don't think it made the cut. Also, happy Memorial Day. I'm filming this on Memorial Day. And before I get back to the actual beach bag stuff, one last exciting update. I got my second COVID vaccine, which is so exciting. In just two weeks, or I guess almost two weeks, because my timer started yesterday, I will officially be fully vaccinated, which, oh my God, I've been waiting for this day to come for so long, as I'm sure most of you have been waiting to. But anyways, back to the main video. Now to what I actually remembered to put in the bag, starting with this Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Moisturizer. This this stuff is super soothing and it has aloe in it, cocoa butters, exotic island botanicals, and it's lime colada scented. And I actually got a sunburn on the back of my neck when I was power washing our deck recently. And this stuff made that pain not completely go away because not possible, but this stuff really did help to cool that down and kind of soothe it out. I'll even use a little pump on my hand. And even as a moisturizer, it's really nice. You don't necessarily need to put it just on sunburns. So that's something I'm gonna carry with me when I go to the beach this summer. And over on the other side, which is equally if not more important, is sunscreen and I use SPF 30. My skin burns so easily. It is not even funny, I either burn or I stay the same skin tone. Rarely do I ever actually tan. If I use anything below 30, I'm almost guaranteed to straight up burn. So I would rather not get tan and use this than burn. 
this Hawaiian Tropic scent that my mom got me. It smells so good. I used to use Sun Bum and I kind of still do, but this smells so good. It takes you back to the beach even when you're on your back deck as I am. It just makes me more excited to actually get to the beach this summer. I have this waterproof bag and this is meant to carry like makeup and small essentials. I have the Sun Bum Cocoa Lip Balm in here, which note about that lip balm. I know it's kind of in the sun right now. Don't keep those in the sun. I was driving to school one day, really needed my chapstick and I had it upside down in the blazing heat. And when I opened it up, all of the lip balm was melted in the cap. So God forbid this happens while I film the video, but please, keep those somewhere cool but I'll probably add mascara maybe some skincare products to this when I go on vacation I'm actually going to three different beaches this summer we all know I'm going to Ocean City New Jersey that's a given I'm going back to Ocean City Maryland which is so exciting and I'm going to Cape May for the first time and I might be going to Rehoboth Beach in trying to travel light I'm just gonna pack my essentials my mascara my skincare my lip balm and I'll be all set next is this oversized beach towel my mom found the comfiest beach towel I've probably ever felt not even an exaggeration this thing the tag says it's like a resort style beach towel it's six feet long and it is so comfy like I would wrap myself in this and go to sleep it's that comfy but it's got the yellow stripes on one side and then it's got these pink stripes on the other side and even though it's huge it does roll up pretty nicely into the beach bag and you bet I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. The next item is this burn relief spray. Kind of self-explanatory. Helps with sunburn, insect bites. Kind of like the after sun moisturizer but this one's in a different kind of spray instead of a lotion. So pretty useful if maybe the moisturizer isn't doing its job. And then this I've yet to fill with water but this is a hair sprayer or a mister which is of course so nice for when you don't want to get up or into the water whether it's the pool or the ocean but you still want to cool off a little bit with some water and if you don't have sink water to put in this you could probably take water straight from the pool or the ocean and put it in this and it would do the same thing my sister uses one of these like to get ready in her get ready routine but for the pool that's probably all I will need it for next is this sunglasses case and in case you're wondering I don't have any sunglasses in here right now I'm actually looking to get a new pair because I feel like it's time to get a new pair we'll see I'm not a huge sunglasses person Person, but my mom got me the case for me to put whatever pair inside so oh my god that bee will not leave me alone holy Oh my god, it went right in front of the lens. My camera cut out for a second, but I'm back. So not only is this a good scent in general, but it's super beachy. I'll definitely be bringing it with me when I go on vacation. Not only to make me smell good, but it also makes me feel more refreshed going into the day. And if you want to check out Dossier's website, which is dossier.co, and I think there's a slash on the end of that too, go check out their scents. They have men's, women's, and unisex scents. This one is a unisex scent. And if you want 10% off your purchase, use code 10 Haley at checkout and you'll get an extra 10% off. Not to mention these are already super affordable, especially when you compare it to the retail prices of the luxury perfumes that these are equivalent to. This one's equivalent to a Tom Ford perfume, which is valued at $250 for the same amount of product. And I don't know how that one smells because I haven't tried it, but this smells amazing and I wouldn't even trade it for a higher end one, especially not for the price tag. So that's my spiel on that and the links will be in the description. Also, this is a new outfit, forgot to mention. The top is from Urban, the bottoms are from Anthropology. I'm going to get into my new swimsuits. So far, I've bought three new swimsuits for the summer season. This first one is just a solid bright yellow top, and then it came with matching solid yellow bottoms. And I have tried these on. I ordered it online, so I couldn't try it on beforehand. The top is a little loose, but I can get away with it, and it's nice for tanning because it's mostly open back. Back. and I also just love the color yellow this one's gonna look like a mess on camera but I promise it's cute when it's on so this is a wrapped floral swimsuit I'll just show you the bottoms first so I can get them out of the way these dark yellow bottoms these fit so well and then I might have to demonstrate this top it honestly was so complicated to figure out but once you get it it's fine you take it and you wrap it and then you cross these and then tie them in the back although that was a bad angle this is a very very cute 
cute wrapped swimsuit. Actually, the next one I'm gonna show you is the same style, but I love how this one looks when it's on, and you'll probably see me wear it in a future video this summer. Lastly is a three-piece swimsuit that I have, and you might be saying, three-piece, what are you talking about? Well, that's because it came with two different pairs of bottoms. I'm not gonna demonstrate again, but this is the same wrap style as the other one was. And again, this is a floral pattern, which is really cute. And this one came with plain white bottoms, or I've never really owned these since I was a kid, and I don't know if I'll necessarily be using these a lot, but it came with these matching swim shorts, which are pretty cute, but I'll probably use the swim bottoms more than the actual, oh, well, they're both swim bottoms. I'll probably use the regular bottom instead of the swim shorts. And that is it for what's in my beach bag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you're getting as excited for the summertime as I am. Don't forget to check out the links in the description if you're interested in learning about Dossier, scrolling through their products, or using the discount code. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give a like down below, comment what's in your beach bag, if there's anything that you have that I didn't in this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, I thought it was a bee, it was a leaf. My dog's chasing the bee. Oh my god, why do these bees hate me? Alright, I need to wrap this up.